Brassica Junsi, Wikipedia article audio. Brassica Junsi, commonly brown mustard, Chinese mustard, Indian mustard, leaf mustard, oriental mustard, and vegetable mustard, is a species of mustard plant. One subvariety is southern giant curled mustard, which resembles a headless cabbage such as kale, but with a distinct horseradish or mustard flavor. It is also known as green mustard cabbage. Brassica junsi cultivars can be divided into four major subgroups, Integrifolia, junsi, napiformis, and tsatsai. Cultivar Integrifolia In 100 grams, cooked mustard greens provide 26 calories and are a rich source of vitamins A, C and K which is especially high as a multiple of its daily value. Mustard greens are a moderate source of vitamin E and calcium. Greens are 92% water, 4.5% carbohydrates, 2.6% protein, and 0.5% fat. The leaves, seeds, and stems of this mustard variety are edible. The plant appears in some form in African, Nepali, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Italian, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and African-American cuisines. Cultivars of B. Junsi are grown for their greens, and for the production of oil seed. The mustard condiment made from the seeds of the B. Junsi is called brown mustard and is considered to be spicier than yellow mustard. Because it may contain erisic acid, a potential toxin, Mustard oil is restricted from import as a vegetable oil into the United States. Essential oil of mustard, however, is accepted as grass. But in Russia, this is the main species grown for the production of mustard oil. It is widely used in canning, baking and margarine production in Russia, and the majority of Russian table mustard is also made from B. Junsi. The leaves are used in African cooking, and all plant parts are used in Nepali cuisine, particularly in the mountain regions of Nepal, as well as in the Punjab cuisine of India and Pakistan, where a dish called sarsan de sag is prepared. B. Junsi subsp tatsai, which has a particularly thick stem, is used to make the Nepali pickle called achar, and the Chinese pickle zha cai. The Gorkhas of Darjeeling, Sikkim, and Nepal prepare pork with mustard greens. It is usually eaten with relish and steamed rice, but can also be eaten with roti. In Nepal it is also a common practice to cook these greens with meat of all sorts especially goat meat, which is normally prepared in a pressure cooker with minimal use of spices to focus on the flavor of the greens and dry chilies. Brassica junsi is more pungent than greens from the closely related Brassica oleracea, and is frequently mixed with these milder greens in a dish of mixed greens. Junsi Chinese and Japanese cuisines also make use of mustard greens. In Japanese cuisine, it is known as takana and often pickled for use as filling in a nigiri or as a condiment. Many varieties of B. Junsi cultivars are used, including Zha Cai, Mizuna, Takana, Jik Gai Choi, and Swali Hong. Asian mustard greens are most often stir fried or pickled. A Southeast Asian dish called Assam Gai Choi or Kayam Chai Boi is often made with leftovers from a large meal. It involves stewing mustard greens with tamarind, dried chilies, and leftover meat on the bone. Brassica junsi is also known as gai choy, su gai choy, zao gcai, baby mustard, Chinese leaf mustard or mastaza. Fried mustard green dish Napiformis Mustard green kimchi Cantonese-style braised mustard greens, 
with wolfberries. Vegetable growers sometimes grow mustard as a green manure. Its main purpose is to act as a mulch, covering the soil to suppress weeds between crops. If grown as a green manure, the mustard plants are cut down at the base when sufficiently grown, and left to wither on the surface, continuing to act as a mulch until the next crop is due for sowing, when the mustard is dug in. In the UK, mustard sown in summer and autumn is cut down starting in October. April sowings can be cut down in June, keeping the ground clear for summer sown crops. One of the disadvantages of using mustard as a green manure is its propensity to harbor club root. Tsatsai This mustard plant is used in phytoremediation to remove heavy metals, such as lead, from the soil and hazardous waste sites because it has a higher tolerance for these substances and stores the heavy metals in its cells. In particular, Brassica junsi was particularly effective at removing cadmium from soil. The process of removing heavy metals ends when the plant is harvested and properly discarded. Phytoremediation has been shown to be cheaper and easier than traditional methods for heavy metal reduction in soils. In addition, it has the effect of reducing soil erosion, reducing cross-site contamination. Nutrition Uses Food Green Mustard Phytoremediation